This is a short video of me chopping with my off hand. It was an experiment I was doing to figure out how long it would take me to become reasonably competent. With my left hand, the pile of wood that you can see uh, in the background there is typically what I would cut for about a day. Um, as you can see, my precision and accuracy and even power is all over the place. For the first day, I had to relearn all over again, like how to hold onto a knife. I couldn't even do snap cuts. It was really kind of interesting. Uh, for anyone who tries to duplicate this, take care. It can be dangerous working with your off hand. Um, now, the main reason I wanted to make this video is because recently some people have sent me some videos to have a look at because a group of people are doing edge retention tests and I was looking at them and I've been interacting with them recently. It's always good to see people do any kind of work with knives and try to learn and understand steels and performance as long as they're open and honest about what they do and willing to have a dialogue. If either one of those are not true, well it's not particularly interesting. Now in this regard, I just wanted to bring up one relatively important thing. I've often noticed that when people start to do these and they make these videos, they start off by saying something like, well now look, this isn't a scientific test, but, and then they start to make a bunch of claims about steel and edge retention and performance and even getting very specific about metallurgy. The interesting thing about that is the literal translation of saying, this is not scientific, but, is, I don't know anything about what I'm talking about, but science as defined is a way of knowing. Specifically, it's a way of knowing from interacting with the physical world, as opposed to mathematics or logic or philosophy, which is a way of knowing by starting off with a set of assumptions and then proceeding by a set of rules to figure out what else you can know. I assume this is true. If that is actually right, what else would be true? Science doesn't work like that. The way science works is maybe you have an idea, maybe you see something, and then you wonder, what way does this actually work? What's actually controlling it? So then you go out and you do an experiment once you have an idea. Sometimes you do an experiment because you don't have an idea. You're just trying to figure out what's going on. But the way science is, is that the purpose or the way that these experiments are done is such that you can know something once the experiments are over. So when you say it's not scientific, that means you've done the work in such a way that you didn't learn anything from doing it. And more specifically, it means you can't learn anything from doing it. That probably isn't what you want to say. Now, there's no method or there's no guarantee in anything about science that you have to be really certain or that you have to have a certain level of precision or a certain level of accuracy. What's important is whatever conclusion you make, to however precise that you are, or however certain you are, the actual data that you have supports that. That's what it means to be scientific. When you claim to know something, is that actually supported by the data? Which would mean, is it reasonable to believe what you believe because of the observations and the way that you've collected them? That's what it means to be scientific. So in the future, when you're doing work, think about what you're saying. You may not want to start off a video essentially by saying, now look, I don't know anything about what I'm talking about, but, and then proceed to make a big bit of claims.